Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own dog bed at home. This will save you a ton of money, um, especially if you have a large breed dog. Dog beds could cost up to over $100 and I was not going to pay that much. So I'm going to show you a cheaper way to make a dog bed. But first, I have I already made the dog bed but um i had to clean it so i took it apart so i figured i'd show you guys how to make it because i'm basically make it over every time that i have to clean it so i'm going to show you how to clean it first and then i'm going to go ahead and put it together with you guys if you are wondering honey is currently barking in her cage because she thought that it would be fun if she um bit open her bed and took out all the stuffing so yeah she's in there for now but the tools that you're going to need is two pillows or one, depending on how big your dog is or how big the pillows are. So I have two large pillows here, and then I have um, just this blanket that I basically gave to the dog. So definitely don't use a blanket that you care about. Just a blanket large enough for those pillows to fit in. And as you can see, these dog beds, they're going to get full of hair, especially if you have a dog that sheds a lot. So right now, I just laid the blanket out on the side that she lays on and I'm just using this de shedder and I'm going across it to get all the hair off and as you can see there's a ton of hair on it so I'm just gonna de shed it and then wrap it back up if you want you can throw it in the washer too because um, I probably will throw it in the washer after this video but I like to de shed it first because you don't want to just throw the blanket inside of the washer and you know all that hair is going to be inside of your washer that you wash your clothes in. So yeah, I'm going to take all the hair off of it first before I try to wash it or anything like that. So I have completely moved out of my way. I have completely de-shedded the blanket. Um, obviously there's still going to be hair left on it. I'm not going to sit here for two hours and go through it with this thing. But I got a majority of the hair off. But I'm going to go ahead and take these pillows. By the way, I know pillows are expensive as well, but somebody actually, my tia gave these to me because she didn't like them. They were too hard for her. And, um, yes, yeah, so you can just use whatever pillows. Like, you know you have old pillows in your house. You can use old pillows. Get out of my way. This might be harder than I thought. No, don't bite it. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, she bit the pillow along the seam of the zipper. So, hey, no. So, get out of my shot. I'm going to have to put her up. But um, I just used a hot glue gun and I glued it back together. So, yeah. Leave it out. This is going to be hard. You can't lay in it until I'm done. It's not your bed yet. Come on, let's go. Go to your crate. Go to your crate. Come on, go to your crate. Come on. No, I'm not gonna fight with you. You're gonna listen. And I'll pick you up like your mom does. Let's go. So you wanna put the pillows next to each other in the middle of the blanket. This blanket is actually kind of small for these large pillows but we're gonna make it work so i am just gonna pull the ends of the blanket together and this time i'm gonna make sure that i put this up so that she can't reach them because she bit them through the side and i'm just gonna pull them like this and tie it together if you want you could like hot glue it or stitch it but with the amount of times that I wash this blanket, I find it easier to just tie it so that I could easily untie it and wash it or whatever. And then um, if you were going to wash the blanket, um, you would wash it right after you de-shed it. But I decided not to because it doesn't really smell that bad. So if it doesn't stink, I'm not going to waste a wash on one blanket because obviously I'm not going to wash it with anything else. So as long as there's not a bunch of dog hair and it doesn't stink, then I'm cool. Right, then we're just gonna tie the other end. You can tie it in the middle if you want, 
but this is the side that's going to be flipped over so this part doesn't really matter and then you flip it over and there's your dog bed so that's how it comes out just want to make sure the sides are tucked in because like i said that's where she bit the hole through last time and i had to hot glue it back together but yeah there's honey's dog bed Mm hmm and let me show you how much hair came off of that bed gross huh so yeah i would say the d shed blade is definitely a winner got it for three dollars at walmart so it's definitely a good investment i hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe